All right, guys, into our next game here with the Smooth Brain Auditions, where we see who is going to be awesome and who uh, at being an idiot and being creative and who's shit. Um, right now, this one's from Hyper One, who said, The reason I'm the next Smooth Brain is you can overwhelm your opponent with a barrage of audio visual cues and tantalize them with fake signs of aggression. And that's obviously a far more viable strategy than simply making a good army and then just killing them with it. So already I like the, the approach. I think we have a feeling that Hyper One right now is very, very much into the idea of like, I'm just going to throw all this fake shit at my opponent and ruin their brain and all that sort of stuff. Um, here we go. We've got the, uh, the pool there as well. <laughs> Okay, so hatch block, gas pool. Oh, the Protoss just went and took a third. It's that guy on CNN, by the way, guys. This Protoss player. Oh, my God. Okay, so Zealot is on the way. Wait, why did he cancel his gas? Did he just cancel? Hold on, hold on. What? What the fuck? Why? Did you just start a gas in a pool, cancel it, and then decide to go three hatch? Oh, the brain damage is real. It would have been so much more efficient to just grab a drone and go take the third. It would have been down like 10 seconds later, but you'd actually have a pool and a gas finished. Oh, I, people are like, oh, was he hoping to get, to get, to get scouted? Maybe. I don't know. It was so, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I and mean, that's very smooth. That's very, that was a glass brain standard move if I've ever seen one. The one was like, oh, me and uh, I'm gonna oh, do the thing, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no explanations in chat, Hyper One. I don't care. I don't need, I mean, you, you can if you want. I'm not reading them, though. I'm taking your replay. You happen to be watching live. I'm not, I don't care. I'm gonna be watching here. Yeah, I'm not reading, not reading your silly chat messages. No explanations now. Your game must do the talking, silly one. That was a uh, true smooth brain. That that made no sense. It was great. All right, so we've got a queen and Zergens building. <laughs> a drone popped out. What are you doing? What are you doing? This oh, that's Captain Dickhead. Notice how he's putting a silly amount of micro into it while not building queens at home or spending his money. That is the definition of Captain Dickhead. Captain Dickhead is a drone that you put a ton of micro into with the very purpose of annoying your opponent until things. He's just cancelling spines and rebuild. Why? Why do you keep building spines right next to this? This makes no sense. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. He just keeps building and cancelling things. This is so stupid. So stupid. Kill, kill, kill the creep tumor. Kill the, kill the tumor. Kill the tumor, bro. He let the tumor go down. Oh my god, I think I think Hyper One broke his brain by just doing shit that made no sense and then shouting poop. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Just poop. Yeah, you still haven't built a queen at home and you're only now starting overlords and a random spine crawler. Oh my god. But the Protoss didn't click on the tumor. The tumor is so important. You cannot let the tumor go down. And that is a poop. For those who don't know, if you guys look at the graphic, the queen literally poops. She drops the tumor out of her butt. Queen is the only species in the StarCraft universe that has self-proliferating poop. It is like an endless recycling system. It is beautiful when you think about it. Basically, this poop can create another poop, which can create more poops. It is a self-replicating life form. The queen's butt is basically God. That's what I'm saying. Her sphincter is God. She can create life herself. And that's what Hyper One is he's harnessing it. Unfortunately for him, that guy on CNN is just probing up a third base anyway, so I don't think it matters. <laughs> Chat's already going, what league is this? All right, I'll start telling you guys it's 3.3K on NA. So that's Diamond 3, right? Diamond 3 with all races apparently is uh, Hyper One, so... Very cool to see. Third hatch does go down at home. Queens are injecting. Two sentries are on the way. Interesting. And the observer comes down. No! The poop never got to do a spready. I'm kind of sad. If Hyper One was big brain, Hyper One would have tried to just spread one there or spread one there or something like that. Basically just hoping they weren't looking, right? That's a real unfortunate, you know, letting the, the tumor die as a virgin is kind of sad. You know, you know it wanted to poop one out there before it went. 
can't it can't be a fulfilling life as a, as a tumor if you're not able to do that. Now the lings are going to come on in and they're like, hey buddy, bit slow reaction from CNN does lose two probes. Okay, but Overlord dies on the pillar. Some more lings coming across now. Right now, this is looking a little bit like a, um, a really badly executed normal macro game. So, kind of like Florencio's follow-up, uh, I guess. Like, oh, that is an awkward diagonal wall-off. Very, that's a thick wall-off. Oh, 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 that guy on scene then. At least he's got an immortal here. Run probes. Oh, no, the probes are trying to fight. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. So, the lings literally have just walked into the main... The immortal just walked away! The immortal just left the probes. He's like, you can handle it, right, guys? No, they can't handle it. They're probes. They're robots that literally, they, they point a laser pointer at the ground and say, y yeah, warp in, warp in the building here. And they mine minerals. That's all they do, you freaking idiot. He's like, yeah, well, I do have two giant, two giant phase disruptors. And, uh, you know, a hardened barrier of giant shields are made out of armor, made to fight. I've called it immortal, but I'll let the probes handle it. What an absolute baboon. Meanwhile, Hyper One's like, I need a fifth hatchery. Or fourth hatchery, I guess. And a butthole. Uh, oh, no, no. Fifth, fifth macro hatch and a nidus and lings and banes. Okay. I, I think what impresses me is that Hyper One's macro is just... Like, the injects are really on point on these two hatcheries. And just nothing else is, like, making sense. It's, um... no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Lings are just running in again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This player decided to just take a third the moment their natural was blocked. But yet, they haven't walled off or built cannons anywhere. I've got to say, I'm a little surprised. On the other hand, they're chronoing probes quite well, which means they could recover. Whereas Hyper One's drone production, it's, um, it's not. Now, you might go, it's not what? It's not. The drone production for Hyper One, it's like occasionally a random dribble comes out. That's about it. I'm saying if, if, if getting drones out of a Zerg economy was like a, a man, you know, for, for Hype One, it's like a man with kidney stones trying to take a pee. And he's been standing at that urinal for a good couple of minutes and he's, uh, uh, come on. And it just, it, it just will not come out and it is painful. Right now, the Nidus's will pop in the main. Click the Nidus worm, please. This time, he shouldn't really take any damage. Nidus in the third, in the main. Ling run by in the third. I mean, this is just basic Ling Bane tactics. I'm, I, I mean, it's, it's doing well, but it, the opponent... So I like that there's mobility. We're running around. I like this. This is kind of like Boom-esque. Like, I'm just going to morph a Bane Ling in your base and hope you don't realize. I do like that. And it's all good. Nothing, like, exceptionally mind-breaking here. Like, I would like a Burrow or something like that. As I, as I doubt it by saying nothing exceptionally mind-breaking. I do see three... Oh, no, that was a misclick. Okay, never mind. I was like, what are these? No! They're meant to be... No. Yes. They were drone... These were Nidus spotters. They got sent. They're like, go spot for a Nidus, please. And uh, yeah, I guess we're going to we're gonna Nidus our Lings there. Because the Lings definitely couldn't run here themselves in three seconds. We're going to go a Roach Warren and a second Evo Chain. We haven't used the first one yet, but we're going to get a second one. Okay, I'm down with it. There's also an Overseer in here. He's like, oh... Hey, hey, I'm I'm one of one of the lads. Um, photosynthesis. Hey, <laughs> hey, what's up with us having nipples? By the way, what is what is with that? Haha, <laughs> I'm I'm a totally normal Protoss man. Haha, <laughs> mm, uh, Zerg are dirty bugs. Am I right? The fuck, dude? They're the filthiest bugs. Yeah, high five. No, no, no. Anyways, uh, Banelings are morphing, and we're going to click them into the bases. Right now, that guy on CNN's map awareness has got to be the most god-tier map awareness I've ever seen. Just really quick reactions as well. Lightning quick, we're going to warp in a sentry to block the Banelings. Now, that is a different sort of sentry force field that I haven't seen before. <laughs> what is this? <coughs> Hyper One is going to drop a Nidus Worm. Hey, Hyper One was left alone for seven minutes to just randomly click Lings and Banes in and is now up at 73 drones. So left alone for long enough, Hyper One has made a good economy. What do we got now? Okay. Banelings are there. I mean, this Protoss is not putting up a fight, right? <laughs> That's the problem right now. That's the problem. Oh, 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 oh. The Banelings keep coming in and there's just, there's nothing there. Oh, no, 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 there's Banelings in the night. Don't, 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 no, 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 no. But he doesn't pop it? Oh, missed opportunity. That's the time you decide to go macro and build more drones? Then? 
That was, that was, that was, uh, offensive. That was offensively, that was smooth. That was you macroing correctly when you could have killed every probe. Disappointing missed opportunity. Let's see if we get it on the second one. <laughs> There's only one zealot there. We could just rally into that mineral line and do this. Show me what you got. Wait, it's empty. It unloaded. Oh, looks like some banelings just walked in the front again. So the nidus worm is there. Now we're making a hundred... Uh, guys, Hyper One has shown no ability to, to like macro super well and is going to a hundred workers. Now, from what we've seen, Hyper One at best has the ability to spend off 53 drones while keeping the bank low and is going to a hundred. So this may be overbuilding the workers. I'm not going to be judgy, but I am because that's my literal job. This is smooth brain auditions. I'm, I'm meant to see how smooth your brain is. I got to say that is very smooth, but it doesn't mess with the opponent. So it's not really what we're looking for. When we're looking for smooth brain players, we don't just want bad players. We want bad players that fuck with the opponent. 89 workers is creating what I call the boring buffer. So you might be wondering, guys, um, the boring buffer is basically where you give yourself so much money that you could drag your ball sack back and forwards across the keyboard making misplay after misplay and you'd still win. So what it does is it takes away intensity from what's going on and excitement. Because for me as the storyteller and for the people watching, we go, well, you've got so much more money, you need to throw away army, 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 army before you lose, right? So going for too many things at once, what's happened here is the classic, we've lost direction in how to finish our opponent. So what Hyper One really needs to do here is just really focus on something really stupid and then kill their opponent with it. So we're gonna fast forward a little bit here and see if some things are gonna happen. Because what we're doing is we're playing with our food far too much and the opponent really just isn't building a good army or anything like that. They're still making mass slow zealots. So it's it's kind of a game over, it looks like. You know, we've got a massive economy and um, massive masses of lava. We can kind of do anything we want from here. And the Protoss hasn't built a single good unit. And I always wonder kind of what's happening in a game like this to this Protoss player, because why are they making sentries? That's a, you know, stalkers, zealots. Like It, it just, to me, seems confusing. But, but, but I think when the game goes awry, people just get thrown off their game plan and they just get stuck on making really basic units mindlessly without really checking. Well, where's the Archons? Where's the Colossus? Where's the Carriers? Where's the A-move units that pretty much always perform even if you're not looking at them, you know? Um, I do like that you've Nidus your opponent to death, but definitely playing with your food way too much. And uh, just the Protoss player has never counterattacked, never interacted. You know, we've got one person who's just kind of sitting in their corner getting beaten over the head. And it's just at some point they've got to fight back or we've got to outthink them or out-creativity them. But a lot of these attacks have just been Banelings rallied in and walking in through wide open entrances. So it does feel a little bit like beating a guy who's already unconscious on the ground. You know what I'm saying? So guys, we're going to give this one... I think it started out promising with the, the spine cancels because that was kind of funny. But let's also be real, guys. I think the peak of entertaining StarCraft might not be the full Santa Claus way. <laughs> I do like that. That gave me a little bit of a boner, guys. I'm going to admit that was a bit of a. It's it's a good it, it's a good kind good kind of stiffy, not a creepy one. It's but but that like fear dragons out there smiling down on this moment, and he's going, mmm. Oh yes, daddy. Mm. Oh. But good cancel from the Protoss. So like that's a sick cancel. The Protoss actually makes a ton of Archons, you know, and Colossus. They could probably win this game, right? Please tell me they win. Please tell me they win. No. That would be too sweet a revenge story. That's not going to happen. Did I just see 65 slow... Ba what? What? Oh my god. Uh, uh, Watching. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh. What was that? Bad hyper one. Bad. Oh. Dude.
I can't watch it again. I can't watch it again. I don't I don't know what to rate that game. I don't is no. That game was no. That one guys, we're going full Australia on this game. I refuse to rate it. That's it. Rating refused, it's not going to the game store. We're refusing to rate that one. There was some things I liked, some things I really didn't like, and I think it, it would be bad for the children to see this game. Bad. I'm banning it. Banning it from stores. Alright guys, we are here with Smooth Brain Audition from Bo and Nan, who apparently applied earlier, previous season. I can't remember what happened in the game, but didn't make it in. And I said, I'm back for seconds. I'm here once again with a replay to enlighten the masses. Minds around our globe will become smoother than a hot knife through butter, but none as smooth as mine. I'll grant you this replay and the outstanding strategy within it. Now you must go forth and grant it to the Twitch chat. I trust you'll be able to understand the unparalleled plays that it contains. I trust you can make the average soccer two player understand. And I have trust in myself that you will all enjoy my gift. Oh yeah, also explaining you're a smooth brain is still for tryhards. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it, mate. Boanan bringing in the tryhard explanation there, or or the not so try. I don't know. It isn't like oh, I'm a smooth brain. Just just a bit of poetry, a bit of a bit of a fun little poetry description saying this is why I'm a special special player out there. Who um you know, my opponents are, 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 are a bit worse for the wear after I deal with them. So he's going for a proxy barracks. Looks like a proxy reaper. Now the Protoss has scouted and said, "Where's your barracks, man?" This is a um, uh, pretty high level game, by the way. You can see that the Protoss player at 2.50 APM spamming their minds out. Bo and Nan, the cheesy smooth brain on the other hand, is at a 47 MMR. So you can tell this is really going to be about leveraging solid mechanics and micro to take down your opponent. Um, <laughs> you might think, who's got 50 APM? in? <laughs> this is a Diamond 1 EU game. So this is actually pretty high level, guys. <laughs> Now, the probe's like, hey, where's your command center? He's building a command center here while going. So he's going to go proxy reaper to distract while trying to, I imagine, planetary contain up, something like that, or some sort of planetary rush. So he's going to go, and he's got a factory as well. Okay, so it's going to be layers of BS. I like this. I do like this. I think special somewhere is getting a little bit excited. His, uh, his, his Dorito would be standing up a little bit at this one, that's for sure. But good scouting from the opponent. Hal, very aware there's some cheeky bullshit happening. Ooh, attack, attack the SCV. But the Reaper's going to get in and distract him from doing that. There is an Adept on the way, but the Reaper should be able to get a probe. Good probe pull, though. Very nice. Hal's actually doing really well so far. Hal does send the probe back, but oh no, it's just cute to do that. Isn't going to stop the command center building. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, and there's no second gateway unit building. It's building a Stargate. I think Hal's a little bit overwhelmed. Like, what is going on right now? Wait, what? There's a command center here? Sending the Adept down, but that means the main is unguarded right now. A Stalker is on the way. The Adept is heading over there. Reaper coming on over. The Adept, of course, can chase that down. Command center is going to lift off, guys. There's no engineering bay. Yes, there is. There is an engineering bay. Reactor building on the factory, an extra Reaper building, but you need 150 gas for a planetary, and that is a lot. So where can this command center actually land? The Adept's blocking it right now. The Adept is trying to block it from landing. It doesn't even have enough money to make a planetary. How? I mean, I... I... <laughs> so Bowen like, all right, just, um, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Is this, is this parking space free? No! No, none of these parking spaces are free. Get the... Fudge out of here. Get out. No. 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 You can't park that. E you cannot park that vehicle here. Sir, this is private property. Sir, this is private. What the? No, don't you. Put the keys back in the ignition. You need to get that moving out. I'm going to call the police. Oh, yeah. They get out. A bunch of crazy fucking toothless cousins get out the back of the car. Pull out some crowbars. Oh, God. This security guard realizes he's out of his, he's out of his depth. There's not even enough gas to build a planetary, guys. It's just sitting there. Bo and Arn's like, oh, you thought this was a planetary rush? I don't even have the gas to build a planetary. Ooh. Sends two Widow Mines in as well. It's just like, uh, yeah, it's a distraction. <laughs> uh, but I actually do want to do it, so I'll build another one since this one's going to die. <laughs> All right, so what have, we, what have we killed so far, by the way? It was a Stalker and a Depth, for, what, a Widow Mine and two Reapers. The Widow Mines are just walking in now, though. Hal needs more units out. Void Rays will clean the command center up, but it's getting pushed out of that natural expansion. Okay. 
Void Rays are gonna push their way in. There's an Armory on the way. That's very intelligent, actually, guys. So the Armory is gonna make those Widow Mines invisible, and there's only gonna be Oracles for detection. The Void Rays are trying to go around to fight this, but watch out for the Boom Booms. Boom Boom, make Void Ray big damage. That Widow Mine will be going down there, but this Void Ray on the left is in trouble. There are still Widow Mines in the Mineral Line as well. That Pro will set off the other Widow Mine. Do need to clean these Widow Mines up, but the Armory's gonna finish, guys. And just like that, now they're invisible. Oh, no. Okay, the Oracle can tag these two. But remember, you only get so much energy for these tags. Hal's Supply Block is building three pylons right now. Okay, Hal's brain is going into overload right now. And uh, Hal is like, Oracle, turn on your laser. Oh, wait, I needed that for detection. Oh, no. Oh, Shizzle Fizz, my dick beard. My, my, my dick beard? I don't know what I was about to say there. But I changed it to dick beard. I changed it from not a word to dick beard. I don't think that's a save pig. I think that's jumping deeper into the hole of... I don't know what that's meant to mean. What is a dick beard? I guess that's like Davy Jones in, uh, in those Pirates movies. He has a bit of a dick beard, right? That's kind of what that is, you know? The, the tentacles and stuff. Anyways. Um, okay, we've got Widowmine still walking in. They recharge and they... Yeah, they they, they knocked the Void Ray. It tried to run away, so it ran into the other Widow Mine. <laughs> oh, no. Hal. Oh, my God. This is, this is, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hal, 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 Hal. Oh, my God. Okay, so Hal pulling on back right now. Still doesn't have Warp Gate. The Stalkers are trying to pull back. Revelation, dude. Get that Revelation. Don't, don't, don't go in rage, though. Okay, Stalker can start clearing this up, man. If the Stalkers go forward, they can clear this up. Trying to build observers right now. Remember, there's no expansion behind this. Is that an orbital? I was like, where's the planetary? It was never going to be a planetary. It was going to be an orbital. Big brain. I'm going to build depots outside your base. This is my base now. Yeah. It's the fake planetary. I have never I never thought I'd see it, guys. I, I, I actually think this is a new build Boanans invented. The fake planetary. I got to say, I did not expect this. I'm surprised. Hal's confused, and did we did we kill the observer? Yeah, we killed the observer. That always happens. <laughs> the splash damage. Stalkers are just walking out, dying, man. Oh no! Try to build when you're trying to build cannons in your main to stop widow mines that are walking into your base. You know you're having a bad time. Those widow mines are about to recharge. Oh no! Oh. Um, you know what though, guys? Widow mines can't kill buildings, so cannons are the hard counter to this attack. For those who didn't know, the cannons can't—they can't shoot them. So the widow mines can't shoot the cannons. I mean, so the widow mines are trying to go around the cannons now. Um, this definitely seems like the correct way to use your APM. You know, some people would be like, "Hey, maybe I should like take an expansion and get stim and like five barracks and just win the game with some buyer." Bow and Arn's like, if I rally Widow Mines in, it'll eventually work. It's getting a bit World War One-esque, charging into the machine guns of those stalkers. I think he realizes, he says, okay, let's just cement this position. Play a little bit more conservatively. The fake planetary rush is turning into a real planetary rush. This is how you cement the position. I feel like there really are, you know, at least three neurons firing in Bow and Arn's brain. And that to me, I mean, at least three. It just feels like there's layers here. And as you peel back the layers of the onion, there are maggots inside each layer. Oh, God. Ow, 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 wow, 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 wow. Immortal does do good damage versus planetary. But Widow Mines continue to walk on in. Hal right now, still trying to build Void Rays. Freaking out a little bit. The Stalkers and the Immortal are, are panicking. They are running in and out, in and out. The Immortal uh, could shoot from the high ground, you know, without getting shot back, right? It, it was completely fine up there. Oh my god, is he actually just going to be able to walk observers up and kill this? Oh my god, how? Just make more stalkers, bro. Make more units, please. Immortals are on the way. Oh, his observer's too far back right now. So, the Nexus is still uh, getting damaged there. The planetary now has its twin Ibex cannon. As you guys can see, shooting that, uh, that command center. The Void Ray does fly on in here and starts to pick up these SCVs. Now, guys, three probes, a stalker, and a mortal. Pretty sure I tried this in the unit tester and it worked. Oh, sorry guys, that was an acid trip I had when I was thinking about imaginary StarCraft scenarios that were never gonna work, Hal. Come on, man. Come on. How? Ah. 
What do you think? E three probes are gonna help you tank the planetary? Come on, man. You can do this. You can break out of it. I'm cheering for Hal. That's also another sign that this is a pretty smooth brain replay from Bowen on. No, we lose another observer to the bloody widow mind splash. What are you doing? Is that another planetary? Oh my god. Okay, there's asserting dominance and then there's taking a poo on a fucking corpse's chest. That's what this is. That's disgusting. Okay, thank god. Hal knows he's dead and leaves. I, I, if I had to watch any more of that, I would have been very upset for Hal. Um, that's pretty high level trolling, guys. He stays in the game to let the Widow Mines kill the Immortal. Um, you know what I, I really like to imagine as well, guys? I think my favorite part about this replay is not only is it Diamond One. And the guy kind of did pretty well defending at first, even though there was so much going on and like scouted pretty well with the probes. What I like is that I think Boanan actually wanted to go for a planetary fortress, but doesn't really know how to play StarCraft properly. And was like, what? How much does a planetary cost? And was just like pressing the button and wondering why it didn't upgrade. Like, in, I don't know if this is real. Obviously, we can never know. Boanan, I'm not going to read what you say in Twitch chat because I want it to stay based on the replay alone. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure Bo and I was like, I'm gonna make a planetary. I don't have money to make a planet. Is it? Why is it not upgrading? Because you're building add-ons and reapers non-stop and widow mines and all these things that cost gas. And he's like, well, I guess it's a big floating d distraction. <laughs> it's a really good distraction, man. Because this is the point where where's warp gate? Where's stalker production? Where's the second gateway? Like, wh why are we building probes and we should be like chronoing stalkers, chronoing voids? Instead, Hal spends like two minutes 30 to four minutes microing units around trying to block a command center from landing. And it's actually this, it's actually the sickest. Right, right, where you're like, okay, that's like a cool bonus thing is blocking at landing, but you know you can just pull probes and click on it and kill it before the planetary makes, right guys? Like, it's actually not like, it looks scary. It, there's a reason why you don't see this one in tournaments. It's because the defending player can go, click, <laughs> and it defends it. <laughs> now, keep in mind, some of you may be in Silver League games where it comes in so late that your opponents also made building armor before it comes in. In that case, it probably won't work doing that. <laughs> Either way, guys, I'm giving this one like an 8.5 out of 10 or so. Let me know in chat in the comments what you guys would give this one as well. I'm thinking... I'm thinking eight and a half, maybe nine out of 10. Um, just looking at it, okay, so, so that's a distraction. The Widow Mine's rallying in, adding the armory was good. The Reaper's going in. Um, I was obviously kind of enjoying just how screwed in the mind the Protoss player was and having a lot of fun with that. But let's, let's try and be a little objective here if we kind of rehash on it. Mm, this, this, this was super smooth because this was the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Building another command center and then just being like, yeah, no, it's an orbital. And not just that, guys. You might be like, oh, well, I mean, he's just taking his base. No, no, no. That's part of the attack. Why? Because his opponent is inevitably going to build observers to kill the Widow Mines. Even though they've got oracles now, he knows they'll build observers. So, you're going to need extra scans to try and kill those observers, aren't you? So he's thinking ahead. Planning ahead. And... He's getting another barrack so he can build two marines at a time. With plus one weapons. Hundreds of IQ. Or zero. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10. Heck yeah, Bowen on. Well played, mate. Guys, there's so many beasties coming. Like, there is no way the Swiss wins this game. Actually, he's got 20 spores. Maybe? He's got a new... He's neuraling them one at a time. Oh my God. <laughs> and he scanned over here Update. guys we have to watch that again he's like where but where where could it be coming from that the, 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 <laughs> they mind controlled Bob dude but where where is it coming from I don't know, man. There's no visual indicator that tells me where this is coming from. <laughs> Where's the borrowed investor? I can't see it.